Hello once again and thank you for joining me on this beginner series of web design. We said the previous video that you need a domain and you need hosting. We already have it now. Um, you can be able to research more. If you don't have it, please just research domain registry page and then hosting. You can even get other services there. Like for example, GoDaddy, you can register your domain there and host at the same place. Or you can as well come to Hyder Digital Solutions. They'll be able to host you and register your domain as well and also maybe design for you a website. Um, so we left it at uh, WordPress, WordPress installation. So when you come to WordPress toolkit here on, 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 on this uh, very uh, left corner, you can see WP toolkit, select it and you'll be able to see what that brings um, bear with me, my internet is not very fast. It's not very fast, but we are going to work with it anyhow. So when, once you come here, you can say install WordPress. And then it will bring you this other uh, sidebar that is going to load the installation. And so you can be able to put that installation details. So it will be siha.so. And then you can now write your, the details, what will be appearing as the name of that website. See her. So, and then the plugins, you don't need any plugins. So see her, test, okay. And then you have the language and everything. So you have uh, the administration information. So this administration information is what you'll be able to use as uh, login details, so you call it login details. Without the credentials, you cannot be able to log in and update. So this is very, very important. You need to be able to know. So I usually just remove this part for admin, and then I just come here and I copy this password. I've already done this. This will be my username. I'll just copy that username, and I come to Microsoft Office Word, and then I put that one. So I'll put this one as the user, username, and then here I'm going to put password, password. So, oh, sorry, username, and then here, password. So when I come back here, I'll copy this password. And then I'll come back here, and then just paste it over here. Okay, we go back. You, when we talked about databases, this is what the database is. When you, when you install WordPress, automatically it creates that database for you, you don't need to do this thing so it automatically does for you. So select install and then it will be able to proceed with the installation. So you give it a few seconds to load and then it's starting to, you see it's downloading packages, creating databases, configuring an installation. So you can see, you can see finally it's already done. And um, now we have our website, which is already, uh, it's ready for us to start working on. So once you've done that, you see installation complete, you just say no thanks. So now that it's completely done with installation, now we're going to check whether we can actually access the dashboard using the credentials that we had created before. So by doing that, you take the domain and then slash WP hyphen, is it hyphen? Anyway, hyphen admin. Okay, so we, we say for, in our case, it is siha.so siha.so slash wp hyphen admin, you see? And then you select it, automatically it takes you to dashboard. So you see you will be welcomed with this particular window. You can see very beautiful, welcome to WordPress. The latest, the version that we're having right now is 6.55. This is the latest version as per the time of recording this video. So by now you can see that if you come on this home here, you will be able to see that uh, there is see her, you know, visit site. So just right click on it and then see how the site looks like. This is your website, but this is not exactly what you wanted to achieve, but it's a website, right? But it's not communicating the image that you wanted. Maybe it's an organization, as I said before, maybe it's a business that you wanted to put up. Maybe you want to put an online store. Maybe you want to put your own portfolio. This is not exactly what you wanted, right? So what you have here is what we call a template. This is a template that comes with this 
particular installation. This is what we call a theme. So a theme is a default setup that comes with this installation. But you can be able to customize that. You can be able to put it to the brand that you actually want it to look like. You can make it into anything you wanted to, to actually uh, achieve. And in this particular one, I'm going to be taking you through that in the next episode. So stay tuned.